Everyone's had bad experiences in restaurants, from poor service to lousy food. So what can you do to avoid having your evening ruined by a terrible dining experience? Check out these tips that will help you immediately recognize signs you're in a bad restaurant. You get ignored. When you enter a restaurant, pay attention to how quickly you're greeted, both by the host or hostess and by your waitstaff. Sure, people get busy, but even if the hostess is off seating other customers when you arrive, someone should at least say hello. <sighs> Where is someone? I'm starving. The same is true when you finally do get to your table. If your waiter or waitress is busy with another table, that's where your teamwork comes into play, as the host, manager, or other waitstaff can let you know that your server will be with you shortly. If you're ignored either at the front door or at your table, it's a troubling sign that things aren't running smoothly. Everything was okay? Everything was fine. Thank you. Very fine. <clears throat> Thank you. It's dirty. Nobody wants dirty dishes around at home, so it's even worse at a restaurant. It's bad enough when the waitstaff doesn't clean off the table next to you, but it's even worse when you discover crud on your silverware or maybe lipstick stains on your glass. While some mistakes are bound to happen, dirty dishes aren't just gross. They're also a sign of how much attention is being paid to your dining experience. And even if your dishes look clean, here's a tip. Take a quick look to see how clean the menus are, as menus can get dirty very quickly. If the staff hasn't bothered to wipe down your menu recently, just imagine what things might look like back in the kitchen. The bathrooms are gross. Speaking of a surefire way to know how clean the kitchen is, take a look at the bathroom. Chances are, if the bathroom isn't being cleaned very often, neither is the kitchen. If a bathroom has visibly dirty floors, overflowing trash cans, and broken locks on the stalls, you can bet the kitchen is kept in the same state of disarray. Other customers are unhappy. Before you place your order, take a look around to see how the other customers are doing. Are they happily engaged in fun conversations as though they're in some kind of commercial? That's a good sign. On the other hand, if you see a lot of angry, frustrated, or bored customers, chances are something's wrong, whether it's the service, quality of the food, or wait time. If other people are having a bad experience at the restaurant, you may want to think twice about dining there before your night is ruined, too. Yes, you all have to leave. I'm not taking any more of your smartness and sarcasm. You see this sign? Management issues Other diners aren't the only people who give off hints about how good the restaurant is. The staff of a restaurant can offer clues as well. If staff members seem unhappy or distracted or are making a lot of mistakes, there's a good chance something has gone wrong on a management level. Take a look around and see if you can spot the manager. Is the manager helping the staff by carrying dishes to tables and talking with customers personally? Or is the boss berating the staff and watching things fall apart? And this is me expressing myself, okay? There it is. I hate this job. I hate this job and I don't need it. Getting stuck in the middle of workplace drama isn't just uncomfortable for you, it can end up being really uncomfortable for your stomach. Terrible food. Even if the place is dirty, the staff is rude, and the manager has mentally checked out, some restaurants are still worth it because of one thing. The food is great. But the reverse is also true. No amount of great service and atmosphere can make up for bad food. If a kitchen is being run poorly, you'll likely spot inconsistencies with portion sizes and food quality, including substandard ingredients. So if you aren't able to spot any problems with the restaurant using one of our other tips, go ahead and give it a try. Because when it comes to fine dining, the proof really is in the pudding. Thanks for watching. Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.